originally it was supposed to be my fifth novel for um, Simon and Schuster. Uh, and when I pitched it to them as a book, it was simply untitled Rob Thomas Detective Show. Um, and a lot of the elements were the same. Um, a disgraced sheriff father um, whose child is a, is, suddenly becomes an outcast, dad becomes a PI, and child follows into the business. But uh, it was a boy, actually, in the original uh, version. When it was a novel, it was always a boy. And when I... Uh, <laughs> moved out here and decided to make it a TV show. Suddenly, it seemed smarter to make it a girl. Um, <laughs> and uh, it was a uh, yeah. It was a, it was actually a script I had around in a drawer for a couple of years. Oh, was that right? Yeah. Was it so? Was it um, the detective arena something you wanted to tackle? You've got a range of experience uh, on other shows. No. Um, <laughs> uh, honestly, what I wanted to do was a teen show, um, but it. it, it it was so tough to get sort of a, a traditional teen show, which would be a high school soap show on the air. And, and when Freaks and Geeks was canceled, which was just a favorite show of mine, um, I thought, well, how can I get a teen show on the air, an epi uh, you know, a, a franchise show with a detective case each week? That I thought I could get on the air. So it was sort of a wanting to get a, detect uh, wanting to get a teen show and thinking this is what will sell. Um, and I, I just, I like the idea of teen noir. Like mm -hmm. if I just started with that idea, um, that you could take, you know, if, if Buffy sort of was going to take uh, sort of an extended metaphor for life is a horror show, um, this would be sort of teen life through a noir lens.